family. Hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed day because Grammy is having a wonderful blessed day. The plan for today was to make some delicious semi-homemade mashed potatoes and do a giblet gravy with you guys. But because the hoe is still in the wall, uh, I don't really have anything that I can do the giblet gravy on. I could cook it in that roaster pan, but gravy is a thing that you have to have it just so to do it right and I need to boil eggs I've got of course I could do the eggs in my instapot there are ways around it but I have just decided to let the mashed potatoes be the piste resistant and I can't speak French but I'm gonna try <laughs> so anyway uh, I decided to show you guys my mashed potatoes and I looked it up to see what was the number one side for Thanksgiving. And there was a tie between mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. With this. this is a good plan B mashed potato. Because have you ever found yourself with just one or two potatoes and some extra mouths to feed, but you had a box of instant potatoes? I'm going to show you how to put it together, and it's going to be delicious. Now, I am doing a potluck YouTube virtual dinner virtual potluck with a few other channels and this is my second video to add to it and I am doing those with Greg's Kitchen I'm gonna hold this up so I make sure I get everybody Miss Gay Jordan over at Apron Strings Sharon Yarbrough channel is the same name Miss Katie at Heritage Ways Miss Vicki at Vicki's Country Home Miss Lori at Wilbur Will Hollow Miss Leslie over at the Farming Pastor's Wife and Miss Darlene at Super at 60. It's been a wonderful thing to do this. I so this time of year when we begin to make the, the cookies and the candies and the smell of turkey cooking in the house and dressing and all of those wonderful flavors that marry together, I'm, thank, I'm, I'm thankful for those memories that I have of the ones who have gone on before us the ones who are no longer here, the ones who taught us these traditions, the ones who loved us when we were little, loved us when we were bad, loved us when we were good. For that person, that would be my grandmothers and my aunts, uh, my mom's baby sister and my dad's baby sister, and my dad's mom and my mom's mother. They had wonderful traditions at each one of their house and it was a wonderful thing. And so when I cook these, and I think about these. I begin to think about being five years old and learning how to use a potato peeler at my grandmother's table or being able to use a cabbage shredder. <laughs> Just wonderful memories. And one of the things that I liked that was in the comments where I cooked the turkey was there were memories. It invoked a memory in you. And that's a wonderful thing. Memories are wonderful because that's all we have left when those people have gone on to be with Jesus and we are behind and waiting for our time to go be with them. But thank you for tuning in and welcome to all the new subscribers that I have. Here we are a family and I'm so very glad to have you. And all my ones who have been with me forever, I just love you, I love you too. And so I'm gonna do a little dishes because I'm filming this at the end instead of the beginning. And uh, as you can see, the mashed potatoes are all cleaned out and put away bellies are all full we've had a little sampling of thanksgiving dinner today made a memory with my little girl today with my husband can't wait for thanksgiving to make memories with my little grandchildren but you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and i hope you enjoy the video god bless you I'm starting out with a few potatoes here and these are Yukon Gold potatoes and uh, this can be made with one potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. <laughs> you can use as many potatoes as you got. It's a very good recipe and it, uh, it'll feed a lot of people. something about when I'm peeling potatoes that just takes me back to when I'm a little girl my grandma sitting in her rocking chair and she's peeling those potatoes and back in the day she'd always slice me a piece and let me have a bite of a raw potato it's just a lot of memories
Now I'm just going to slice these into quarter pieces, you know, so that they'll uh, cook a little bit more evenly and get done about the same time. Okay. Let you get back to watching me. It's something about the sound of somebody peeling potatoes and running water that's so relaxing. I'm just going to have this over a medium heat because I don't want this milk that I'm just about to add into this to scorch. Uh, I'm going to put enough water to kind of cover the potatoes, add a little milk, put a stick of butter, and some salt and pepper in there, and then I'm going to put the lid on. And I'm going to watch it just to make sure that the milk doesn't burn because you may have to turn your temperature down. And I'm going to let this go until the potatoes are fork tender. Okay, my potatoes are done. I am about to hook up the mixer and uh, we're gonna blend this all up. And then over there in that bowl, I have three cups of your potato flakes. And uh, as I'm mixing this up, I'm gonna start adding those in at a cup at a time. I believe I end up adding four cups total to this and then it's gonna be one can of evaporated milk into it. At some point, it's gonna look like I have totally run this, but this is what you want it to look like. So that you get the fluffiness and you get the air in it. Trust me, it's going to be delicious. These are going to be the creamiest, fluffiest potatoes you have ever ate in your life. Right here is when you're thinking she's running them. Yes, she is. She's running them. But I promise you, this is where the magic is happening. When it starts to stick together and become those little balls and little things, and you think, oh, she's never going to get this back. This is when the magic's happening. There's air going in there. And I'm 
promise you, these are the best potatoes you will ever eat in your life. Trust me. Now I'm going to add that can of evaporated milk in there, and it's going to take the whole can. And that milk is going to add some creamy richness to it. Mm, 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 mm. It's going to be good, y'all. Okay, family, well, I hope you enjoy cooking these easy peasy mashed potatoes that nobody will know that they're semi-homemade. They're absolutely delicious. I'm gonna build a Thanksgiving bowl. I am heating up the turkey. Uh, I've made a little bit of stovetop stuffing. Of course, on Thanksgiving, we're gonna be having chicken and dressing. In this bowl, I have a little bit of green beans and ham. And over here, I have some macaroni and cheese. I had to do this all in my microwave and my roasters. So you can make a meal. It doesn't matter if you've got a stove, if you don't got a stove, if you've got a microwave, you can do just about anything. So I'm gonna put you down so you can watch me build this. And I'm gonna build it in these pretty little uh, bowls here. And we're gonna put some mashed potatoes right there. Let's get a second scoop. Make a little well in the middle of them. I uh, couldn't make the giblet gravy because I do have to have a stove for that, but we're gonna pour a little bit of delicious brown gravy right there. Let me get the turkey out of here. We're gonna put, I'll bring everything over here so you guys can see it. We're gonna put a little bit of this stovetop stuffing right there. Oh, don't that look good? Might get a couple of spoons in there. You can put a little gravy over that too. Now let me get us a macaroni and cheese. Oh, MG, check out that macaroni and cheese. Look at that cheese pull. Like I said, I had to do that macaroni and cheese in there. You know, I don't rely on my, my, my microwave so much, but this has kind of taught me that I can do, I can do it in the microwave if I need to. I can do it. Check out those green beans and ham. Oh my goodness. Let's put a little bit right there. And if you don't like your stuff touching, you make it the way you want to. I just kind of wanted to make it fancy. Get a piece of ham right there so you guys can see. Got ham there. Now we're gonna take a piece of that beautiful turkey breast and lay it right there. And would you look at that. We have Thanksgiving in a fancy bowl. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making these mashed potatoes. They're a semi-homemade. Uh, how I came about them is, I thought I had enough potatoes uh, for a meal we were having one day. Ended up, I only had three potatoes, but I had a box of instant. And uh, so I decided to combine them. And I want you to know every year, People say these are the best mashed potatoes that I have ever had. I don't make them any other way but this way. It's something about combining the fresh with the box that gives a creaminess and a realness. It's just delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted to make the giblet gravy today. Could not figure it out. I don't have an electric skillet. If I had an electric skillet, I could have knocked it out of the park. But I'm going to save those giblets. And uh, if I don't get to do it in this series, 
um, this collaboration potluck co uh, collaboration. I will make those for you at a later time. I'm going to freeze them and we'll bring them back out and use them later. Alrighty. Love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful, blessed day because we're going to eat. Let's try those mashed potatoes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so, so, so good.